Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on exporting Houdini height fields. This will be a quick outline of the way I get height fields out of Houdini and into Maya. There are a number of ways to do this, probably more efficient than this. This is just my workflow. Let's get started. Okay, so you've probably got a nice uh, height field that you've put together in Houdini. Um, and uh, along with that, you should have a, a selection of masks that came with the road node. So let's have a look at how we can get the geometry out and then the masks. So turn that visualize off. Um, to get the geometry out, it's really simple. And if you're familiar with Houdini, then this is probably not of much interest, but we'll just do it anyway. Um, so let's convert the height field and have a quick look. Convert height field node, the default settings are fine. Polygon is good. Um, the density, if you want a lower res mesh, if you just drop it, you get a, a low res mesh. We're just gonna stick with my high res one for now. Um, I've exported this one already, so I know that this is roughly 500 megs. It's quite a large um, file, but uh, depending on what you're going to use it for, you can export the density as you need it. And then you just want to throw down a file node and pipe that in. And in this case, we are going to write this out as a an OBJ. So I've got a directory I've already set up for this um, tutorial so I'm just going to save it out as version 2 and .obj so then it's just as simple as switching your file mode to write files and then going ahead and cooking that node and you'll have your geometry nice and simple nice and easy um, and then you'll want the the really nice uh, masks you get with this node you want to get those out because those are invaluable in um, shading the height field so uh, let's first throw down a null and we want to pipe that into the erode node not the convert high field there's no mask information in that and let's just rename this to out and then go up a level and then we want to create a cop2 network and if we jump into that and create a sop import and then we want to grab that null so if we go to the sop and grab this and grab our out, that's our null, except bring that in. And now we need to see what we're doing. So let's go over to the composite view. And at the moment, there's nothing. That's because we need to set planes from SOP. And you'll see in the top left here, we've got the mask and all the other masks here. So let's have a look at bedrock, for example. And there's not much to see here. That's because we need to remap the range. So let's do that. Now you can see our bedrock mask. Um, now, before we save these out, we don't want them to be 1920 by 1080. We want them to be square. So if we set resolution from SOP, we get them square. Now, the default is 2K. Um, if you want bigger maps than that, if you go over to image, um, you can override the size. So that's fine. Um, we're just going to export the, the 2K one for now. Um, and there's a couple of ways of bringing these out as files. So the first is just creating a ROP output and piping that in and just filling out the uh, the details. So you want to uh, your file formats and so on. Um, and there's a, a simpler way as well, which is just right clicking and saving the frame, um, which I'm going to do now. And I've actually already written this in here. But uh, so I, I've put um, this as a PNG as I'll be exporting each uh, mask separately. Um, so height mask um, dot PNG, and you'll want to just go down to your color and your alpha and just switch them to height. And then you can save those out. Um, and if you wanted to save them all into a single file, for example, as an EXR, you can do that. So if you went into this um, and you created this as an EXR, in fact, let's just do that now. Um, you get all of this come up and the defaults are fine to go with um, and this will just create an EXR and all of these um, will be loaded into the EXR channels into one file so that will be quite useful so um, yeah you go ahead and just export all of these separately I find that um, loading them as PNGs into Maya for example as a separate um, file just helps to um, keep the shading kind of networks under control um, so that's more or less it. That's how you export the masks out and that's how you get the geometry out. Um, now, if you're um, 
interested in how to use these in Maya, for example, I've got a tutorial for that that I've uh, written and put together for CG Circuit. So I'll put a link for that in the description if that interests you, that it covers the entire process of um, creating the height field in Houdini, then exporting it, creating clouds and things like that as well. Um, and then going into uh, Maya rather, and um, in Maya we'll shade it uh, with Arnold um, using Quixel Megascans and then finally going to Blackmagic Fusion to comp the shot. So it's got a lot of tips and tricks in how to get the shot um, looking you know, realistic and cinematic and so on. So um, yeah, if that interests you, then uh, I'll, I'll drop the link in the description. And otherwise, um, if you found this tutorial useful, um, just drop us a like. And uh, if you want more tutorials like this, subscribe and uh, I'll keep producing uh, more content like this. So uh, thank you for watching.